Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we shall see the proof of the constant rule followed by examples. Let us say, let f of x be a, a constant function where c is a real, real number. Let's say c is a real number. Then the limit definition of derivative, we can write this one as f of x plus h when we increment the x function of x by a small uh, amount of h we represent that as f of x plus h if that is also equal to that is also going to be equal to c then applying the derivative of a function using limits we can write the derivative the first derivative as f prime of x as equal to limit as h tends approaches zero tends to zero or approaches zero f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h like that according to what we have seen here uh, the the limit definition of a derivative f of x plus f of x plus h for a constant function is also going to be equal to c therefore we can write this one as limit as h approaches 0 this is going to be c minus c divided by h and when we simplify this this is going to be limit as h approaches 0 c minus c is going to be equal to 0 0 divided by h and therefore this is going to be limit as h approaches 0 the whole thing is going to be equal to 0 and therefore the that value is going to be equal to 0 therefore we can say we can then say that if f of uh, f of x is a constant function if a, f of x is a constant number then then we can come back and then say the first derivative of a constant function is going to be equal to zero. We can write it that way, or we can also write it, write it as d by dx of c, which is a constant, is going to be equal to zero. We can write it either way. These are the derivative of a constant with respect to x is always equal to zero. So that is what we, what we see from this definition. Uh, the proof of a constant rule. Let us look at some simple examples in here. Example. If we want to find the derivative of these these types of functions, let's say y is equal to 5. This is example 1. Then we want to, if we want to find the derivative of this, dy by dx is going to be equal to 0 because 5 is a constant, it does not, uh, when we differentiate the constant with respect to x, since the, the number does not have any x variables attached to it, therefore it is going to go to 0. Let's take another example. Let's say we have y is equal to square root of 7. y is equal to square root of 7. In here, if we want to di differentiate it, dy by dx is going to be equal to 0 because square root of 7 is a constant number is a constant number it does not have any x variables attached to it so therefore when we differentiate a constant with respect to x the value is going to be equal to 0 according to the definition which we have just seen let's like take another example if y is equal to some number like this 320.5 if we want to find the derivative of that dy by dx is going to be equal to 0 so the different uh, the derivative of uh, this this uh, constant number 320.5 with respect to x is going to be equal to zero. So these are all constant numbers, and whenever we differentiate a constant number with respect to x, it is going to be equal to zero. So in my next presentation, we shall see the proof of power rule followed by examples.